Caroline Country Cottage. I'm back to share with you another custom journal. Um, yeah, it's just been very, very difficult to get all of the journals um, done and with, with all the custom journals I'm talking about. And it's, uh, yeah, digging in and out of boxes, trying to find the things that I need. Um, studio is still not fixed. Let's not go down that path because I'm not happy at all. Like I mentioned in my last video, so it's still the saga continues and I am still working out of boxes. So this is the other journal uh, to April's, uh, I think I showed in the previous video or the one before that, April's um, journal. I was able to uh, complete her other journal. Um, oh, please excuse my hands, they're so damn dry with all this dust that's going on here. Um, yeah, I'm just constantly putting on cream just to moisten them up, but it still doesn't feel like they're working. But anyway, so what we have here is a another gorgeous journal. Um, I think I actually called this one Expectation or the Great Expectation or the Spring Expectation. I can't remember. Anywho, so we just jump right in. So we've just... Up the beautiful front cover again and with the washi down the side and all the stitching around the edges and we go inside there's a vintage tag um, where I've used vintage wallpaper vintage fabrics to make my buttons and we have the Porter paint um, paint swatches um, which is the colour palette of this particular journal. Okay, we have a beautiful image from the magazine. Um, of course, again on this side, another little image. I've just sort of just tucked that inside there. Ugh, I don't know why it's not fitting now. Let's just tuck it in over here. Okay, so dyed, tea dyed paper, lovely image got some fabric down the side and the typewriter manual the vintage typewriter manual manual mouth not working okay here's another tag I've actually dyed everything all the tag uh, fabric that I've sewn on here um, the same with the the lace fabric um, and of course I've just done some stamping here and there with the lovely image and gorgeous little stitching around the edges here. So I hope you can see, I can't see what's going on up there. And if we've got some lacy type trim here. Now I have worked out how to do the postcards. Um, yeah, and I decided to print a little bit on the edge um, to go with this particular one before I was just sticking the back onto the front but I've worked it out and now I can actually do the uh, the postcard okay a bit hard bending down here on the floor uh, nowhere else to film so here we have some uh, bling here with some layering of lace um, and some muslin inside we have a little swing tag where I've just added some bits and pieces on there Got the ephemera, beautiful um, designer paper, and we have music paper. Another image from the magazine, a little dyed tab. Again, a ledger, and look at this, how cute this is. I thought this was very cute. So I've just popped her in there. And some more of the interior here. And some more fabric down the side. We have the vintage garden um, book paper, tea dye paper. And I've just uh, stuck on an image here uh, for this little pocket, um, which was a vintage card. And I've just stuck that on there. And then there's another one that's just tucked in here. Um, again, the, and of course that was the middle. I always forget that. Anyway, the garden book again. We've got the ephemera. 
some more of our images. I made a little book that's just tucked in here, just with some leftover um, cut off pa papers. And we have another image, and the music paper, bingo card, and some ephemera in this beautiful little pocket here. Once again, that pocket's made with um, from the what do you call it? Um, mm, 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 the baby's pillowcase, the vintage baby pillowcase. Yeah. I just love how all the, the lace hangs out of the book. We have the flip out with the little pocket with the scripted writing. Another tab that was tied, uh, which was dyed, not tied, um, with garlic skins. Yep. Uh, image, little tea bag tab. We have a flip out, fabric flip out with some layering ephemera and of course the rusty clip and I've just tucked in another image in the side there and then there's the back now this fabric, I've actually designed it myself um, did a whole heap of stamping and I've sewn on a collage of um, botanical images of uh, well fabric images um, onto this dyed um, linen and I just did some stamping and I thought that was quite cute so this is going to be a bit of uh, a signature thing coming through into the other journals now um, I just love how it looks and when it's all together and you've got all the little pieces dotted throughout the fabric it looks really fantastic so yes, um, I've decided to do that. I just think it looks fantastic. And of course, we just got my little wooden logo. So that concludes April's last book. Um, yes, so there you go. And... I want to apologise for some of the other people that there's a bit of a delay on some of the journals um, in regarding to having them made and ready in time. I'm at the last two of custom orders that had been already, the, the books had already been pre-made. There are no more of the front covers left. I'll be now working with the back covers. Um, so I still have another... Um, two of the front covers and now I have about four or five of the back covers so um well five other journals custom um, journals that I have to make so I am hoping to get them done as fast as I can I do apologize for the inconvenience um but with the studio being scattered through the house it's been hard to find things and I've been working out of the boxes um, yesterday I spent two hours trying to find a particular item because I was under the dining table and which is seats 10 people it's that big with all the boxes underneath so I'm sitting under there ripping open all the boxes to find the particular item that I needed I, I know I know I should have used something that I um that I had already out that uh, could have been used but I had my heart set on what I wanted to use and when I've got a bee in my bonnet about something I have to use that product. So yes, I spent two hours. Ridiculous. Anyhow, um, thank you for watching and hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video. Okay then, bye for now. Toodles.